Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I'm excited today. I thank God for this awesome opportunity to share with you. We are going to be covering the last two books of the Bible. I'm excited because this means that we, during the course of the overview, okay, during the course of this Bible overview project, okay, I pray Okay, that you realize that everything that you've been taught, every image, all the imagery, okay, that has been biased, that has been, uh, listen, let me just say it, that has been geared to white supremacy. Did I say it? Are you, are you, can you believe it? Are you flip, are you back flipping right now? Samantha said, yes, it is. Let me pause for a second. I'm not a racist. I'm not a racist. Let, let's get that perfectly clear. You can see it by in the inception of my channel. I'm not here to justify anything. You should know me by now that I'm not a racist. But I tell you, let me just take a moment. There was a specific reason why. That a lot of the imagery in this Bible project. Okay was not saturated with a lot of white imagery that we've been accustomed to, you know. And uh, every time I noticed I tried to look for an African-American or a brown brother, uh, 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 you know, a brown sister, you know what I mean, in terms of Bible imagery, it was very challenging for me. It was not a lot. In fact, if they did, and I tried very diligently to get those imagery out to you, because I'm telling you, we have to unlearn a lot. And what I've learned in this project is that the truth is the truth is the truth. And, and, and listen, you know what I was, I'm listen, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I, you know, you know what I was noticing? about myself is that every time I try to look for black imagery or, you know, ethnic imagery on a biblical standpoint so that I can give you biblical imagery that is correlated with truth. Okay. We're talking about Hebrew. We're talking about a region in Africa. We're talking about where everything started. But yet there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of images, okay? Whether it be the apostles, whether it be, you know, uh, Jonah, whether it be Moses, whether it be Paul, every person in the Bible on the internet, this flooded with white imagery. But when it comes to the truth, and we're going to get to a lot, man. And like I said, it's not about racism or nothing like that. It's about truthism. Hello, somebody. And, you know, I was looking for you guys and, 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 you know, I I honestly believe, and I'm not trying to toot my own on, hear me. I honestly believe that I, it's rare that you get a Bible overview with ethnic, cultural, reflective characters. And this is exactly what I tried to accomplish here because this is the truth. Brothers and sisters, do your, listen, unlearn what you've learned. And that's what I had to do. I'm like, listen, uh, 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 I cannot approach this Bible uh, 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 project with an all white cast. I can't do it, man. I can't. Yes, there was people in the Bible. OK, that was non black all of the time. And, 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 you know, you see imagery that reflects that. OK, but listen, man, truth is the truth. We got to unlearn the hypocrisy and the white supremacy that's literally trying to bamboozle huh, and lead you astray. Listen, when Jesus Christ splits the, scri- splits the sky open and he comes back. And like I said, I'm not date Satan, debt saving, excuse me, debt setting anything. But when the second coming comes, OK, whenever it comes Um, a lot of people are going to be so shocked that they're not going to see the white Jesus. They're going to be shocked. 
They're going to be shocked when Yeshua HaMashiach, when Jesus Christ comes back. They're looking for a blonde head, blue eyed man. And it's not going to be reflected of that. You need to literally get your head around that. Because the more you get your head around the truth and literally saturate yourself in the word and be comfortable with the imagery of ethnic people, Hebrew people, our people, huh? Your people. Listen, whether you be a Gentile, huh? Whether you be, okay, a white person listening to my videos. And I love you too. I love my white brothers. I love my white sisters, okay? I love all people, all nations, okay? Don't don't get it twisted, okay? This channel is for all people. But the truth is that, come on now, the truth is that, listen, we are in 2018, okay? Now, if you're stuck on, Imagery like this, and you really think by 2018 that what they had been, what the powers that be, quote unquote, had been brainwashing you to believe all this time, then you need to read your Bible from cover to cover. Brothers and sisters, you could just look at the names Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah. Come on, some do you do, don't they sound ethnic? Come on now. All right, I'm I'm gonna just stop there. Nehemiah. All right, all right. Let me stop. What I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters, okay, is these names are not Tom and Bill and Frank and Fred, okay? Let let, let let's get truthful here. Let, let's be truthful. See, not a lot of people want to be truthful, but I'm going to stand up for truth. Huh? We have to be real with one another. We have to have these conversations. This blonde hair, blue eye ideology, this, this, this uh, white supremacy imagery has to cease. And like I said, I, I literally, it, it was just doing something to my spirit, man. It was, it was, it was, it was, can I keep it all the way real with y'all? Are y'all ready for truth? It was kind of vexing my spirit a little bit. Real talk. It was. Because I'm saying this ain't Paul. This ain't Moses. This ain't Jesus. This image. Come on. This ain't Ezekiel. What? 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 That's what I was saying. I was ready to get these imagery, these true images out for y'all. I'm not saying this person, come on, well, all right, let, let me, let me break it down for the two-year-olds out there that's listening. Huh? I'm not saying that all of these images that I showed y'all are the actual people. Come on. Hello. Jesus Christ didn't stand there and sit down and say cheese. I'm Okay. Neither did Paul, neither did all these other people that I have. And I'm just trying to mentally prepare you for truth. And then, huh? Then you can search the scriptures for yourself and like, do your own research. These regions, these people, stuff that they've gone through. Listen, man, do your own research. Study to show yourself approved. Don't just take the, you know, don't just take the stale oatmeal that people been, you know, feeding you for years, man. You have to feast on God's word and you have to literally study and realize that these things, that these images that people were talking to you about was false. We were bamboozled. We were taught. Listen, the history that we were taught especially biblical history, not talking about cultural history, but biblically, biblical history as well, y'all, was all lies in terms, uh, in terms of the ethnicity. How do you say that? Come on now, help me. The ethnicity. Come on now. All right. I'm, I'm going to say it. To, I'm going to say it. Maybe three times. I'm going to get it. Where they're from. What they look like. Huh? The color of their skin. Well, Samantha, the color of their skin doesn't matter. Why are you even having this conversation, Samantha? I thought you wasn't a racist. Well, I'll tell you what. 
I'll tell you what, if it doesn't matter, why are you getting vexed? Why you, why is your eyes twitching? Why are you upset with me? When I'm trying to tell you the truth about the fact that Jesus is not white. Say, say it with me. Come on, come on. Say, say it with me. Jesus is not white. Oh man, that made your stomach turn, didn't it? And as long as your stomach is turning and your eyes is twitching and your teeth are grinding when I say that, you got a long way to go. Let's get started with the books of the Bible, shall we? I didn't edit this, man. I'm not going to edit this. I'm not going to edit this. I usually go back and edit. I'm going to keep it raw. I'm going to keep what I said raw because it's coming from my heart. And I did this Bible view. I did this Bible overview project and I've learned a lot during the course of this overview project. And I tell you what, there was a lot of disobedience in the midst of everything God was telling God's people to do. The Hebrew Israelites. And they were very disobedient. They followed other gods and they reaped what they sowed. Even to this day, there's a lot of things that our people are doing and are accustomed to. There's a lot of spiritual bondage and generational curses that are manifesting. But guess what? As long as we talk about things like this, as long as we be 100% real and know what we can do in terms of our deliverance and renouncing and rebuking and repenting, we can and will get set free. Amen. I hope this blessed you. I, I hope you get the, the, the truth of what I'm talking about. Now, if you're my white brothers and sisters out there or Latin or whoever, and you get offended by this truth, what, then what difference does it make then? What difference does it make that he's black? D- d- does that offend you? Do you prefer the blonde hand, blue eye? Does that make you feel more comfortable? Why? Adam and Eve wasn't <laughs> white. Huh? Adam and Eve wasn't white. Look at the region. They came from Africa. It said that, huh? Should I, should I break it down again? Okay. Dust. They were formed from the dust of the earth. Okay. The dirt of the earth, if you would, is not white. Huh? It's not white. When's the last time you looked outside and saw some dirt and it was white? Okay, I'll leave it at that. Bless the true and living God. We got to get deep, brothers and sisters. A lot of people don't want to talk about subjects like this. They'll tell you about the Bible, but they don't want to talk about the fact that, okay, let's get the colors right. Let's get the culture right. All right. It's important. Yeah, it is important. It matters. It matters. It does matter. I'm just talking about the biblical truth and perspective of these people and the propaganda that's been fed to you. 